ladies and gentlemen, Mayor Eric Adams is being sued by a woman that said he s assaulted her when they both worked for the city back in 1993. So back in 1993, Eric Adams was an NYPD officer. In a court filing obtained by CBS New York, the accuser names Adams, who was a member of the NYPD at the time, as a defendant in the lawsuit, along with NYPD's Transit Bureau Guardian Association. The lawsuit is seeking $5 million. Now, Eric Adams says he doesn't even know who this person is. So, look, it just seems like these cases are cropping up from everywhere now, you know? So the mayor spoke with CBS New York, Dave Carlin, and he said the accusations are absolutely false. It did not happen. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video from CBS 2. Now to breaking news, Mayor Eric Adams is accused of sexually assaulting a woman while they both worked for the city of New York back in 1993. In a court filing obtained by CBS 2 News, the accuser named Adams, who was a member of the NYPD at the time, as a defendant in the lawsuit, along with the NYPD's Transit Bureau and Guardians Association. The lawsuit is seeking at least $5 million. A city hall spokesperson released this statement saying the mayor does not know who this person is. If they ever met, he does doesn't recall it, but he would never do anything to physically harm another person and vigorously denies any such claim. The accusation comes as the deadline for the Adult Survivors Act expires tonight at midnight. It allows victims to file civil suits after the statute of limitations has passed. We'll have more on this story tonight on CBS 2 News at 11. Okay. Well, whoever it is, it was a city employee. Now he's claiming he don't even recall who this person is. I never recall even meeting them, Adam said. I've spent my life protecting people. I've spent my life giving back and I'm going to continue to do that. There's a lot going on in the city and I'm focused on making sure it gets done, but this absolutely never happened and it's just unfortunate so this is what he said in a statement so earlier in the day a city hall spokesperson released a statement reading that the mayor does not know who this person is if they ever met he doesn't recall but he could never do anything to physically harm another person and vigorously deny such of uh, you know any claims. Well, so the accusation comes as there's a deadline for the Adult Survivors Act, allowing victims to file civil suits after the statute of limitation pass expires at midnight. So. Yeah, well, that's why there's people rushing to get that in. But, you know, there's a chance it could get extended beyond, you know, the deadline. So, wow, look like he's the latest one to get hit. And I know, you know, over the past few days, I did hear about Jamie Foxx as well as somebody was trying to come at him over an incident that happened years ago. So these suits are just cropping up everywhere. Now, he claims he doesn't even know this person. So it's interesting how she um, said she worked for the city. You know, I mean, 1993 is a long time. And, you know, you can forget about people that you met back then. And, you know, who knows what kind of person he was back in 93, you know, when he was on the NYPD. Boy, I, I could never trust a man that works for the NYPD. Man, are you kidding me? Uh, mm. 
But y'all, tell me what you think. It looked like he is the latest one to get hit. And if memory serves me correct, Jamie Foxx was pretty much saying the same thing. Like he didn't know who this woman was that was accusing him of as assault. So he said he don't even know if he even met this person before. Yeah, you, you're going to always have the little psychopaths out here that will do stuff like this. But in my opinion, if you accuse someone and they did not do it, no, there should be consequences for that. It really should. You know, nobody should be allowed to make a false accusation and just get away with it. You know, they need to have really powerful laws on the books against people doing stuff like that. Now, with Eric Adams, I don't know, you know. He's making the claim, but this woman is saying that he did do these things to him. So $5 million is what she wants. But we shall see what happens in this particular case. Y'all going to have to tell me what you think in the comment section. You know, well, it, there shouldn't be too many more cases coming because the deadline is practically here. So you really shouldn't hear too much of this anymore. Not unless New York, their politicians will extend the law to go beyond um, the deadline. But please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.